This is Geekly PC doing a commentary of Hearthstone Arena. I actually screwed up and didn't have enough space on my hair drive to record the drafting process, so I only got half of it. But uh, the deck I wound up with is a really, or lots of cheap minions deck. It has absolutely no weapons in it, simply because I, I seriously did not see a single weapon in the draft. That's just the way it was. But uh, with a lot of early minions, I'm just going to hope that I can consistently have a strong early game and close the game out pretty quickly. It's going to be my game plan. See how it works out for me. I think it's a, an okay deck. Really not having any um, the, the axe, the three mana axe, that's a three attack weapon that you can use twice. That's, that's essentially what I think is like the iconic card in my normal warrior decks. And not having one of them is a yeah. bit awkward, but... Hopefully I can survive I will them. Fight with honor. I'm going to mulligan all three of these cards, all four of these cards. My deck is built around lots of really one, two, and three drops, and this is exactly not what I want to start off with. Hopefully I can get what I'm supposed to get here. Pretty weak opening hand, really. I didn't get any two drops and four, eight cards or one drops, which is a bit awkward because my deck really has a lot of them. If I don't draw a two drop on my next turn, I'm obviously going to coin into one of my three drops, but this is this is a really weak start for the deck. Mind if I roll need? Probably going to coin into the Harvest Golem just because he's the best at trading with the loot order. Actually, maybe the Scarlet Crusader is better at trading with the loot order. Yeah. Well, no, definitely the Harvest Golem, actually. He can pretty favorably in most circumstances get rid of the loot order without losing much. Reporting for duty. My opponent makes the proper choice of attacking me. Um, so let's see here. I don't really want to pop the Crusader because he's going to have a shield guy. I could play the Cobra to trade with his 4 drop just in case he plays a Taz Dingo or something. Or I could play the Panther. I'm probably going to play the Panther. A bit more aggressive and I am going to knock it in order. I don't really like doing it, but I'm going to do it. Done. I really want to start getting board control. I don't want my Paladin to play a Defender of Argus and buff up both his guys. That'd be kind of annoying. If he did that, then his loot order would trade with my guy and kill it. Which would not be good. Let's see what he's got. I don't know much on the board. I mean, true silver champion, there's no real point in playing that. He's just going to play it safe. I think he might have had a true silver champion, but he just didn't want to play it quite yet. Trade my 2-1, just gives me another 2-1. Whatever, I'm fine with that. Alright, so I got the worst on commander. I don't think I'm going to play it quite yet. I'm thinking he more than likely has a true silver champion in hand, which kind of makes me want to play the Scarlet. Dude, bro. I also need to worry about a Consecrate, though. I'm going to do a line of play that's kind of not that good against Consecrate, but oh well. So I'm going to play this guy. I'm actually going to knock off his 1-1. One, one. And hopefully I can keep board control here. Let's see what he's got. Hey, obviously Consecration would be pretty bad for me. Knocks off two of my minions and a Divine Shield. That would probably be one of his strongest lines of play. Uh, True Solar Champion is not a bad play for him either. Sword of Justice is actually pretty good too, because he'd start buffing up his guys, and if I were him, I would definitely knock out my 4 1 as well. He does not knock out the 4 1 with an interesting choice. Now my 4 1 can trade with his Crocodile. Let's see what else do I got. I can play the Warsong Commander and a Leper Gnome, or I could just play the Tiger. I think I'm just going to play the Tiger here. Yeah, it's just going to be the Tiger. I'm going to knock out the Crocodile. Join or die. So that sword is going to make it a lot harder for me to trade favorably just because his minions are going to be a lot stronger than they were if he didn't have it. But that said, I really think you should use one charge of it to knock out my 4 1 just to keep his 3 4 on the board. It's good that I have Warsaw and Commander plus Emperor Cobra. If he plays a big dumb guy, I can just. I just 5 5. I can just kill Cobra. He's probably going to do. Commander into the Cobra. The Cobra trades with him. 
and the other guy's just going to Oh, that guy's really good. Got a bit of a cards in hand placement bug going on here, but that's okay. I'm in a pretty good spot with the worst commander on the board. How much damage do I have? I have 7 damage. I need to kill him 9 more damage, which I don't think I have. I've got close to that. 7 more damage. Gonna come really, really close to finishing him off, but I just can't. Don't quite. Not quite there. Um. Well. This is a bit awkward because I can't really trade with his 6-6 six, six effectively in any way. Um, I could play this and hope that. Or no, not that. What? The Azure Drake and hope that I draw a 1 drop. Maybe that's what I'll do. Whoops, no, not him. No, not him. What now? Whoops. That's not the card that I had intended to play because of the bug. I want to play Azure Drake to see what I would draw. Um, that said, I'm at what, 7, 9? Like I said, a bit short of lethal. No real reason to try and trade with this frozen guy. If he kills my Lepronome, he's dead. I'm in a pretty good spot. But this whole minion floating in the wrong spot bug is really annoying. The victory. I won't even get to see if I have lethal. If I had drawn with the Azure Drake um, some kind of card, like a, a one drop, one of my one drops, like a sergeant, then I could have played it, it would have had charge, and I would have had lethal, but whatever, didn't really do that much. So even without fiery war axes, I'm able to gain a pretty good board presence. Uh, deck's a bit weak to board sweepers, that's always a problem when you're playing these more aggressive type decks. Another Paladin. I think Paladin's probably a pretty decent matchup for me. I could keep the Cleave here, but I'm not going to. I really want to see good early minions more than anything. And I want to maximize my chances of getting good early minions. Again, no one drop, two drops in my opening hand. And I don't even have to coin this time to coin into the three drop. So if I don't get a two drop here, I'm in a really, really, really bad spot for this match, I think. It's hard to win with a deck that wants to be aggressive without actually playing a minion on either of your first two turns. Well, th thankfully I do manage to draw one of my better two drops, really, in the coin juggler. Couldn't be happier with that draw. I really needed it. He coins into Harvest Goal, and that's a pretty good card. It trades with the knife juggler and leaves something left over, so it'll get him some advantage back. I'm going to play one of my own. A bit unfortunate for the knife juggler juggled into the harvest goal and I would have preferred to get the damage on him. He's going to trade with my knife juggler obviously. Um, let's see what else he does. I'm probably going to play with weapon stick. Smith the next the turn. He's got a couple 3-2s. I'm just going to run into both of them. Run into one. This. Normally, I don't like just trading minions like that. The Harvest Golem, because the Harvest Golem gets me a 2 1 death rattle from it. I'm definitely going to do that up. Next turn, I could either Worst on Commander and Blood Fen Raptor, which is what I'm probably going to do, or I'll just play the Stranglethorn Tiger. More than likely, that I'm going to Worst on Commander Blood Fen Raptor, though. If you can keep a Warsong Commander Let on the board, think. you're really in a good spot. You can just keep playing minions. It's like you've got a huge tempo advantage. It's almost like you're playing a turn in the future. That's all your minions charge. Um, Reporting for charge. Do I really want to give him card advantage for nothing? I think I'm actually pretty okay with just giving him a card for 3 damage. When you're playing a deck that's as aggressive as my deck is, I don't think I really got a problem with it like, at all. I want to rush him down. You want cards? Fine, you can have cards. Could be a mistake, but we'll see. 
Normally a lot of the time I wouldn't, but I'm feeling One really shot. aggressive here. Oh, he doesn't manage to knock out one of my weapons. Mind too, if I roll a bit too bad for him. Uh, so let's see here. Um, he doesn't actually have four minions, so this is just an obvious line of play. How much damage? I have five, eight, ten, fifteen. I'm a bit short on the damage front, which means I should look to try and make some favorable trades here. Um, favorable trades I can make include not a whole lot really. Um, hmm. For the wealth Guess I am going to run this in there. Watch this. Yeah, I, I don't really like my line of play here. I made him draw so many cards. The odds of having a consecrate at this point are really, 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 really high. But barring a consecrate, I'm in a really good spot. And it looks like he doesn't have one since I think he would have just dropped that down right away. Hmm. I am the blade of the goddess. Yeah, getting some health back, not really gonna cut it. My Charge guy on the board. I don't think I have lethal range. Six, seven, twelve. Strictly speaking, I didn't have lethal, but play a couple more minions, and things are looking pretty lethal to me. Well played. Sucks. Is why. Well played. Another pretty quick win. Yeah, a lot of people were eating much about board sweepers. I think in this game. In Arena, I get in Constructed, I worry about them more just because I pretty much know for a fact that he would have two of them in his deck. But in Arena, he may just not have them even in his deck, and if he does, he might only have one. I don't think it's really worth it to try and play safe just because you're afraid of a board sweeper. I just go all in, take my risks, and sometimes I get burned, but most of the time I, I feel the risk pays off. So a couple quick wins. Like I said, to have him in board sweeper yet. When I lose, it's probably going to be either because I just don't get early game yeah, plays. Like last game, I really need to draw that knife juggler, and I did. I'll be in the same spot, but I won't draw a knife juggler, and I might lose because of it. Or I might just uh, get board sweeper. I do like the Frostful Forward here, but I don't really want him in my opening hand. The Cruel Taskmaster is kind of interesting too, but I don't think I want him either. Interesting hand, two drops ahoy, so. Yeah, you can see uh, Twilight Drake's not going to be as good as the Yeti here. I'm going to end up playing. Well, no, it'll be pretty oh, much the same as the Yeti, actually. Yeti. Hopefully my bad bomber has some mad skills. Come on, bomber. You can do it. Do it, do it, do it. Good bomber. So the bomber kills his Lapernome, that's value. Good work, etc., etc. See if he just drops a totem here. If he does, I'm liking my chances. Uh, if he coins in the ancestor, the wolves, the taunt wolves, that's kind of annoying. I don't like the taunt wolves, they always bother me. Demolisher's pretty annoying too because it can, uh, it can get some, it can outvalue the value bomber. Bit of a choice here, I think. I don't really need to run into his guy right now. Um, but at the same time, I kind of do. It's almost guaranteed. It's two out of three chance he's going to blow up one of my guys. Oh, yeah, you got it. yeah I'm, I'm doing it. I don't like doing it, but I'm doing it. So I could have done three damage to him instead of do two damage to his guy. It's a bit iffy. Demolisher got some value off, that's okay. I might cleave down his things here. He has the healing totem map. 
Cleave's not a terrible play, but I'd much rather play the Twilight Drake here. And knocking out his Demolisher is a very awful call. So you can see that Twilight Drake's 4 5. So just like a Yeti, but if it gets silenced, i.e., Earth Shocked, then you're like, fuck, why don't I just have a stupid value Yeti? And there's the Earth Shock. This is why the value Yeti is a better card. Ah, well. So I could leave both his totems down. He's starting to. But I'd actually much rather just drop this. this. My minions are definitely not going the right place. Though. And I don't like to leave the shaman totems on the board either. They bother me. Hopefully he doesn't have Fork Lightning, his shaman board sweeper. I'm going to drop a Frost with Warlord probably. The Warlord will probably just trade with the... Uh, Hmm, let's see. Well, I could drop the war. How big will the warlord be? Oh, it'll die just barely 7-7. Seven, seven. So I could trade the warlord away, or I could trade the divine shield. And when I'm, I think I'd rather actually just For the crusade! trade these weaker guys away. Even actually. Yeah, I am going to do the trading. I don't want to kill my worse on commander. Keep the Frostwolf Warlord in hand. He's a really good card. I don't want to throw him away that easily. Just me and Mr. Fighty. Those ones are so annoying with the totems, they just keep putting stuff on the board against you. Um, but let's see here. I'm definitely dropping this guy. Go just drop the cleave and start going for some damage. Let's see. no real need what to use the cleave though. Nah, I'm not going to. Hold on to my cleavage. Got some pretty good boar presence going on. Yeah, that's faceless manipulator, not bad for him. He gets a 7-5. But uh, thankfully the Reckless Rocketeer has probably got his number. Ooh, and the Knife Juggler as well. So I can play the Knife Juggler. As well as the Rocketeer. Hopefully I... I should have actually killed this. Yeah, I should have killed that before playing the Reckless Rocketeer. Just because it would have given a slightly larger chance for him to be Knife Juggler. So I damage on him. Definitely run this from here. So if I had killed this knock guy first, I would have had a 50% chance of having one more damage on him. Which is certainly not that really important, but the fact remains that I, I made a slight misplay there. Well played. Not gonna cost me, gives me well played, I'll give him a well played. Don't mess with Tusker. He's got a sea giant, that's not gonna do him any good. And <laughs> I give him my thanks just for letting me kill him. I like actually when I get to kill my opponent instead of just competing. Another win, I'm on a roll. Like I think I said in the first one, I usually do pretty well in arenas. I don't, I've never gotten like those crazy decks that you see on Reddit where I've got like a lot of anything and my decks are really remarkable. My decks just tend to be consistent, I guess. Decent curve, no real bad cards in them. I just play them, not like I make mistakes, but I play reasonably well. Keep one two drop. Uh, I'm probably gonna drop the abuse of sergeant turn one here, or I could just coin into the raptor. Kind of depends. Um, hmm. 
Now I'm just gonna drop the sergeant. Get in there and fight, maggot! There's some plays you could make that make me regret that, like if you play the Marsh Crocodile 2-3, I would regret playing the Sergeant. One shot. The Archer, to some extent, makes me regret it. What you gonna do? I'll just keep playing the cards out. Curving out as best as I can. And that guy's kind of annoying, so I can't trade with him. Uh, probably the Divine Shield guy. Seems like the best call. Could also play the Harvest Golem. It's another good play. They're pretty similar. Oh, shit. I'm in some serious trouble. Um, I could just play this thing here. What's his weapon? It's, it's two attack. This thing will be a uh, four, six. Tough call here if I play the Cobra. There are so many reasons the Cobra could be a worse play. It's really risky. I'm not going to do it. He's only got two mana. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that he only have two mana. I should have just manned up and played the Cobra. Would have been a bit better. Yeah, that was a nice play. I want to play the Cobra. I take it all back. Oh well. Um. Guess it's just gonna be the Golem Raptor. He's really kicking my butt. I'm gonna lose this one at this rate. My eyes. Oh, restoring health to his huge guy. And another. He's got a lot of. He's got an interesting deck. Never really seen a shaman deck like this in arena before with multiple ravagers, plus ability to actually get them overloaded. <laughs> totally um, mind control tech might actually mind control something, but. Really, there's not a lot of stuff for me to do here. Um, I guess the Warlord's a 4 4. What now? I almost rather just play the Cobra. <laughs> to armor up? Oh god, this is miserable. This is absolutely miserable. I don't have a lot of hope for this game. Next turn I can mind control tech and then coin into the warlord is what I'm planning on doing. But I'm obviously going to end up mind controlling the totem because that's just how mind control tech works. Oh no, to stupid totem's even healing this guy. Uh, so mind control tech. Okay, so I got the best minion I could have. Um, might act actually no. Now that I think about it, yeah, it's definitely better for the Warzone Commander here, and then definitely gonna play this thing as well. And I think I'm gonna. Who are you? In here, here. No. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> Somehow I've got board control. <laughs> okay, well if he can't take it back from me, I've got him. What you gonna do, buddy? Because I've got my worst on commander out. And the worst on commander will start making my guys charge, and I can just kind of go for the throat sort of thing. Okay, taunt guy, that'll gain him 7 health essentially, and do a bit of damage to some of my minions. Okay. He's got stuff, he's got stuff, he's not just totally dead. But I definitely made a huge comeback play there. So I've got a knife juggler, and a possible warlord. Warlord's 
actually 7-7. Seven, seven. The knife juggler hits the right target. Wow. This could be one of the bigger comebacks I've seen if I pull it off. I thought I was dead to rights. But the mind control tech really saved my butt. He's in trouble. Well Looks like he thinks he's dead. He's even well attacking me. Yes! That was awesome. I did not think I was going to win that match. It was mainly just because of Warsong Commander that I managed to get the win, and mine got a lot of things really. Just the utility I had from all the cards in my hand just worked perfectly. Mind Control Attack got the best possible guy, the Warsong Commander gave Mind Control Attack and my Mind Control Guy charge, and then the Abuse of Sergeant but also had haste as well, and his battle cry finished off one of my opponent's minions. Huge turn, one of the biggest power swings I've really ever seen in this game in a single turn. Just totally the board flipped from him to me. You don't often see a bigger swing. Garrosh versus Jaina. You ask. All right. Good enough of that. On to the next game. Um, don't really like abuse of sergeant in the opening hand here. Keep the twilight Drake. The problem is against a mage. Playing him on an empty board when he's just gonna get fireballed or something. It's not that appealing. Not having a turn two or a turn one play is a bit awkward though. Maybe I should have really just kept him. Yeah, I get lucky. What do you got, Mage? Hopefully she's gonna fireball me. No. Coin into For the Crusade! Crusader. Okay. Crusader's good. She will kick my golden guy's butt. Um, obviously not going to sacrifice my guy just to knock the shield off of his crusader, that'd be silly. His follow up turn 3 play is, crusader's a really good card, that kind of, occasionally it doesn't go well for you, but usually it does pretty well. I don't like it as much as Tireless Wolf, but it's real close. Oh, he's even gonna... I don't know about that. Give me a Mana Crystal, it's a bit sketchy. I can't really use it this turn, luckily for him. I guess I'll just trade with this guy. Okay, we'll drop the horse on Commander here. Finish off the board. Armor up. Hopefully, I can keep my commander on the board. She's really important. Mages tend to have a lot of removal, though, so it's it's hard to keep her on the board. But she did her her job. Freeze the character. And okay, so he's two ice lances. My guy, fine with that. Obviously, they have to buff up, buff up his mana war, but whatever. So I got a few choices here. Uh, the Drake is probably the right one. I could just play two minions instead. But, I don't know, the thing about the Drake is if you delay playing it, it just becomes weaker and weaker and weaker. So I'll just play her up. So the Drake is again, strictly worse than the value Yeti because it's weak to silence here. It's very rare that you get him to be better than a 4 or 5, and when you do, it's just because you had a terrible early game. And he's. Sometimes. I mean, it's, I forget this. I don't know. It's sketchy. Okay, that's good for him. He's got good stuff on the board now. Um, the Weapon Smith is a pretty good draw just because it can. Try this! Knock out. I hope get rid of these guys. The other one. And the Crusader is a bit awkward here because he does have the 2 5 on the board that would just knock his shield off. So I might just play the Cobra. Pretty evenish game. I'm getting into Flame Strike territory, which is 
when the mage will get an opportunity to swing things back in his favor. Ah, the Kona Cold with spell power. Very strong play for him. That man worm's getting pretty out of control. If he right into my weapon smith, I would use my weapon on him. So it's probably a good thing for him. He did not do that. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Freezing his guy, not a terrible play, but the kind of problem is that would be my entire turn, other than armoring no. up. I think I might rather just commit a bit more to the board. If I play these two, it's really bad against Flame Strike, is the problem. I think I might just want to freeze this guy. It seems like a safer play. Not gonna use my weapon. Hold on to it. Let's see what he's got. Next turn with nine mana, it's probably four drop, three drop, and then armor up. Unless they draw two drop, then it's four drop, mm. three drop, two drop. Losing pretty handily here. I mean, not that bad. But I think the the mage's ability to shape the board, the cards in her hand, that will have more opportunity than mine will. Drawing a war song commander would be really good for me. What to do? Did two of them in the deck. I obviously do? lost my first one a while ago, but I've got a backup. That spell power hit is really kind of annoying. Hmm, interesting. He has three unspent mana. Well, I think my play here is pretty obvious. Trade that guy away. This guy is another must die target. Then, probably not the Crusader, probably the stealth guy, and the boar. Do I want to armor up or play the squire? I'll just armor up. Um, really bad play against Flame Strike. now that I think about it. He, well, not really bad, he, he two for ones me with a Flame Strike. It's, it's hard to not get two for one by a Flame Strike, like, it's, it's gonna happen. So if it happens here, uh, cause I mean, I don't, this, you just gotta deal with it. There's no way I can play around never getting what two for do? one to my flame strike. It, it's just not realistic. <laughs> Wind Fury guy, okay, I can trade with that. And I can trade really favorably with that other guy. Alright. So... Kind of interesting here because I don't want to. I definitely need to trade with this. I could buff up my other guy instead to do it, but that's not a good idea. Trading with this guy will take my guy down to one and he'll just get hero powered, so I almost don't want to do it. If I don't, then he can annoy my littler guys instead, though, but... Done. You know what? Get in there and fight, maggot! Done. Screw it. I'm all in. Screw Flame Strike. Doesn't exist. It's not a card. I don't care. La 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 la. I can't hear you, Flame Strike. Obviously, Flame Strike kills two of my guys, knocks the shields off the other one. Fireballs for 3-1, and then knocks out the 1-1, one, one, and I'm left with absolutely nothing. But hallelujah, no flame strike. And he trades with my guy instead of me trading with him. That means I managed to get free damage last turn, and he just doesn't play anything. I do not know what he has. Uh, but I'm going to continue to be aggressive here, getting as much damage as I can, keep farming up. Molten Giants maybe is what he's got. He can play his Molten Giants now if he's hanging on to those. Or just see giants. Some kind of giant. It's really strange that they didn't play anything. Maybe he had polymorphs and he just didn't think anything I had was worth polymorphing. That's possible. 
Um, but um, but um, and a worm. Yeah, not gonna do much for him. Polymorph. Yeah, that was one of the possibilities I went over. Fireballs one I two ones. Sure. Fire blast. Whatever. Mad Bomber is really awkward here <laughs> because I got so much stuff, it's almost guaranteed to hurt me more than I'll hurt him. Um, I don't really want to trade with this guy. I'm just going to go to the face <laughs> and armor up and not even play the Mad Bomber. No reason to trade with this guy, it's not like a favorable trade for me. He can trade with me instead. Need. Kinda awkward here. I guess now, yeah, maybe I should have traded one of the two ones. Dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Um, I'm really close to lethal. I'm just gonna go for it. Um, what do I have? I have six damn. No, I'm not even that close. I think I'm going to run this in. Bomber. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Also going to rocket here. To the face. Unfortunately, he gets to finish off my rocketeer. I do have lethal though. But he's got more cards. Really, he's not in that well bad of a spot. Oh, he's giving me the well played. Oh, I guess he's dead. Really close, though. I'm not sure what he had in hand that he couldn't use. Kind of awkward. Maybe do one more and then go take a quick break. That was five wins. I'm gonna stop here, take a break, come back to this later. So another good start, another 5-0 start to my arena run deck. See you soon. Alright, I'm back from outer space. Part 2, I guess. Continuing on in my arena run. Went 5 0 in the first little segment. Actually, not even much space between them if you're looking at my game time clock. Just took a quick break and came right back. Checked my hard drive space. Saw that I had space for maybe 5 more games. Recording footage. So my deck's been successful so far. Just an early game, aggressive deck. This is like. The easiest way to do well in arena is just to draft any sort of two drop, three drop creatures that you see and uh, be aggressive early Geras and try to maintain board control. Valera. It's not rock science, but it works. Victory kind of a sketchy opening death. hand. A squire I like. The rest, eh, I'd rather see if I can get a two drop. And those cards aren't bad, I just want to make sure I get a two drop. Cleave is not a two drop, thanks to the Bloodfen Raptor is. Alright, day. Rogue, it's a bit awkward, obviously, since she can hero power. Try and do some damage to my squire, but that's not even that much of a problem. She wants to hero power and run into that, she's more than welcome. If she plays the crazy Murlocs, double Murlocs, I might just cleave them down. If she plays like a 3 2. And whatever, I'll probably just go to the face and play my 3 2. And if uh, she just does nothing, not even using her hero power, then I just laugh and laugh and laugh while I take out that guy's eye. She's the thinking. So she's on the play, I'm the one with the coin, so she can't coin in anything because she's just daggering into my guy. I'm fine with that. Like I will essentially get like 3 damage done to her worst case scenario and he was just uh, one of my less expensive plays so he's, he's essentially doing his job. I draw Commanding Shout for the first time, I don't think I really saw Commanding Shout in any of my 5 earlier games which is a bit strange. But there it is, see if I, I really hyped it up in the pick process which you didn't get to see but I actually picked it over the Kodo, the 3-5 Kodo that destroys a random enemy when you left the pack. And so there's another good Mortal Strike, also Mortal Strike. I took Commanding Shade, Mortal Strike, and the Kodo. So she uses her weapon again. Ugh. I'm not liking her odds this game. Um, I got a bit of a choice. I can play the Razor Friend Hunter or the Crusader. I think I'm going to go with the Crusader here. For the 
and then go to safe. Obviously she can run her weapon into it, but I mean that's even more damage for me to her. If she plays a minion, I can play Commanding Shout and just kind of really well. You don't really want a Commanding Shout when you've got a Divine just Shield, that probably wouldn't be the play. It's a bit awkward. But now that she ran into my guy, obviously you can see the Commanding Shout is a fantastic idea. Alright, so Commanding Shout is like a certainty. I'm doing that. I could either cleave his guys down, or I could play the Abusive Sergeant. And of those two choices, I think Abusive Sergeant is obviously the better choice. I could also coin an armor up, maybe. That seems a bit silly. I'm just gonna throw down the use of Sergeant. Kill both the guys. So you can see this is why I like that uh, commanding shout card. Corning to armor up. That sounds like a terrible idea. A lot of one ones. Um, Bayonet knives would kick my butt. Um, barring that, I like my position. This is our town. Plays device ringleader without the combo. Interesting. He must. Ah, this oh, guy's he does it so he can combo the other guy instead. Mm. I guess now he runs into my dude. I still got the cleave in hand. Let's see. What do I want to do now? I can cleave, coin into the weapon smith, and weapon his guy to death, which looks like it might be the play. Alternatively, I could play the Warsong Commander and coin into the Razorfen Hunter, and then Nah, you know what? I'm I like the the cleave, coin, commander, attack, attack, play. It gets rid of all his stuff and leaves me with the most stuff left over. The only kind of bad thing is I'm leaving this Twilight Drake in my hand and it's going to be pretty wimpy Twilight Drake. Because next turn I might even want to just War Song Commander and then Razor Fin Hunter. It's probably going to be my play next turn. So this Drake is going to be almost maybe just a 4 1. Okay. He's got some weaponage going on. I can respect that. He's getting pretty low health though. He's got the Molten Giant. Alright. So I'm probably not going to trade with that, I'm just going to try and finish him off instead. Uh, I am going to play the commander. Four. I'm not going to attack him with my weapon, I can do that later. I'll regret it if he plays an acidic ooze, but there are situations I think it's more likely that I won't regret it. I might want to end up using it to go to like a taunt minion or something instead. I don't know. Maybe I should have just used it. Whatever. He's in a pretty good spot really because he can... Yeah, I'm only going to have... I might not be able to finish him off here because he's going to weapon my Warsong Commander and Molten Goal on my 2-3. I think he's got me. <laughs> I think I just lose. Even with the Leper Gnome in hand to get a bit closer to the end zone, I just can't quite finish. Oh, I suppose he does take three da two damage. It's really close. Oh, he's even got that. Oh, shoot. I'm just not going to be able to finish him off. <laughs> his gadget, his auction here got him so much card advantage. <laughs> I can't, this is a funny deck. I'll give him a wolf. Well, I'm not going to give him a wolf because it's not over yet. I'm pretty sure he's got me. I don't really have. Any direct damage. I don't have any weapons I could draw to get more damage in. I think I'm going to be able to uh, really not do a lot here. I can obviously play this. Um, I may as well throw down the Cruel Taskmaster on it just so it can trade with his 8 6 hypothetically. Back to work! <laughs> but uh, it, I don't think I can finish him off. He's got like it, he's got five cards in hand. I've got nothing. Uh, the mortal strike that I took over the commanding shout obviously would be a good finisher, but the commanding shout I used to good effect as well. What did he just play there? Assassinate. Yeah. 
I'm pretty boned. He just trades with both my guys to play it safe, I would imagine. Oh, and there goes my weapon. Especially got the two damage in when I had the chance. But it's not gonna matter. I took an M6, I could've taken an M4, but... <laughs> Mad Bombers, hypothetically, could take him down to 1 if it bombed him perfectly. Pretty boned. Nothing I can really draw. Even the Warsong Commander wouldn't do anything without any other minions to give charge. He's, uh, he's not a good top deck when you've got an empty board and nothing in hand. He just tends to be a 2-3 that just dies. Ooh, nice, he got a deadly poison onto that weapon. Another deadly poison. Three deadly poisons in this deck. And he had the, the auctioneer out the whole time, so he's drawing crazy cards. Unless I could somehow get him to fatigue himself, which doesn't seem very likely. <laughs> so he does have lethal now, I think, on his next turn. That looks like lethal. Not a lot I can draw to change this one. I thought he was going to immediately enter and give him the wall blade. Yeah. There you go. He got me. Well played. See how he fit in. He's going to do it with the giant. I would have done it with the weapon if I was him. It's an interesting choice. But the giant, I guess, was his MVP. The weapon was a pretty cool play for him, too. Well, no, actually. The, the Auctioneer, he definitely should have killed me with the Auctioneer. That Auctioneer got huge value for him. He should have given him the, the last hit gold for me. To help that Auctioneer farm up uh, the best friend's order or whatever an Auctioneer buys. So my first loss, I'm not too upset about it. I mean... I almost managed to finish him off, but he played an auctioneer and he just had a lot of good value road cards to combo off with the auctioneer. And I couldn't really trade with the giant. I tried to go for the throat. I could have instead just tried to maintain board control. In hindsight, that might have been able to get me the win. I'm not sure, that's just like a hypothetical. I'm all getting these out. They're not bad cards, I just want to see three drops instead, and one drops. Yeah, perfect, the Lepronome. This is a really nice opening hand, I like it a lot. Because I've got the Lepronome to start with, then follow up with the Raptor, and then turn three. I've got an Abuse Sergeant to buff someone up if I want. Or if he plays like a North Shire Cleric right here, I can buff up my Lepronome right away. I am going to trade... Just because he's a priest and his turn 2 play might have just been healing himself. Well, I guess he can do that anyway with the Lepronome. I don't want to trade with my 3-2 essentially. I force the trade with him because I don't want him to trade with my better creature. He's corning into... Don't mess with four. Good card. My guy can essentially trade with that. It's kind of a slow trade. Do. Knock out the little one, stay alive. He's probably gonna trade with my 3 1, I would imagine. I don't know, he's gonna buff up. I, I, I cut, that was one thing I thought of, but didn't mention. Uh, my weapon smith will be enough to finish off. This guy, unless he heals it, eh. It's a bit awkward. I guess I still do the weapon smith play. I guess I could. Abuse of Sergeant to do it instead, but no, I like the weapon smith more here. Just run into it. Like that. He plays a value yeti or something. I'm probably gonna abuse of sergeant here. Oh he's gonna shadow madness me. Oh that's a good play because he gets the um the two one from it. So I think here I just, this play is really weak against Holy Nova, but I said before that my opinion on board sweepers is YOLO, and here's my YOLO 10 board sweepers or anything play. That's a pretty 
pretty good card. It'll kick my Reckless Rocketeer's butt, plus one other card. Uh, Mad Bomber, I can't play on this board. Guess he's just gonna two for one me with that Fen dude. Yep. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this guy off either. He's got too many cards. I'm kinda out of gas. The 3 6 Don is one of the few Don creatures I really like. You can see in this game how it's being very effective against me. Okay, so I think here I just run into him and then play the bad bomber. Watch this. So both of his taunt guys essentially two for one. One of them even took the bomber to help finish it off as well. I'm really running out of cards though. I can't finish this one off. He's gonna start playing cards and I won't have answers. Your magic shall not save me. Glory to the Sindora! Mm, thankfully, his Blood Knight did get my Divine Shields. So I do have a fair number of Divine Shields in this deck. Oh, this is a oh, value. This Azure Drake is a ridiculously good draw for me. I get another Cleave. I didn't need that one, but I'll take it. Now the Cleave. That Azure Drake. Ridiculously good. Ten out of ten top deck on that one. So maybe I will be able to finish this one off with that quality top deck. Let's see what he's got. I don't have lethal yet. But I got the cleave out with the Azure Drake. That cleave Azure Drake synergy. It's something I mentioned when I was drafting. But the Azure Drake is pretty good with cleave. Ready, sir. Silence thing, okay. It's not that bad. I don't really need his spell power anymore. Uh, I don't have lethal, I'm damage short, which means I'd probably rather just go for the trading here. So I do the cleavage. Knock this guy out. So one short of lethal there. It's a really, really close game if I lose it. As close as it can be, really. Can he gain back or control with his cards in hand? Oh, he's healing me. Oh, dear. <laughs> well played. I was a bit worried about that one. If I could take it into the end zone or not. But the Miracle Top deck of the Azure Drake is what enabled me to get the win. Azure Drake's just a fantastic card. Even if you don't use the spell power, it's a really good card. Like a really, really good card, just a 4-4 four, for four, 5 that draws you a card. That that right there is really, really, really good. And if the spell power is ever relevant, then it pushes it over into ridiculous category. And that's what it was right there, ridiculous value for me. Uh, next up, let's see who I get. Oh, worthy opponent. But what kind of worthy opponent? Zelnaga, I like his name. That's the StarCraft progenitor race. Or you can play StarCraft, should know that. If you didn't know the Zelnaga, you're a terrible person. I'm going to keep both my three drops here. Ditch the cleave. Well, actually, no. I take it all back against the Warlock. The cleave is really good. Let me just keep everything. I don't really need both three drops, so I should really pick one or the other. I'm going to pick Scarlet Crusader. Cleave is essential for killing blood imps against a warlock. That's why I kept it. Scratch my ear for a second. So I'm kind of liking my open hand. Not sure if I'll coin out the blood fen raptor or not. It depends kind of what he does. If he plays a blood imp, then I'll probably coin out the blood fen raptor. If not, I'll probably just do nothing. The reason I'll coin it out is because I'll figure that he'll play another minion on his next turn. In turn two, I will be able to do that cleave off. He's thinking. I greet you. Greetings. Actually, with the uh, the cruel taskmaster, I almost certainly point up. 
now I can swing in for some pretty good damage next turn. If he doesn't do anything, then I'm hitting him for five. What do you got? I think I'm happy to leave that on the board. I'm not going to do anything to it. I'm actually just going to buff my guy up, which is really bad against Mortal Coil. We're going to get some damage in. I like getting damage in early against Warlocks. It's because it will mean they can't use their hero powers much later on. May my ancestors watch over me. He goes for the trade. Well, fine with this. Um... I think I am going to... I really don't know here. I'm going to go for the Bomber, I think. Bomber fails. It's really awkward, though. But whatever. It's a bit of a risk. That didn't work out. Sorry. Oh, well. I still got to cleave up, so if he goes to the face with me and plays another minion, my cleave can get me some value. But that's a bit awkward, because I'm at 4 mana. And that would mean I can't do anything else unless I draw a 2-drop. Demon Fire. He doesn't play. Oh, this is really awkward because now I can't even cleave this guy. But this really didn't work out at all for me. It was a risk. I knew that. I took it anyway. I got burned. Play the Golem. This is... I really don't like this card, Torin Warrior, but it, it kicked my ass this game. I didn't handle it very well at all. I enraged it without killing it. Took a risk. I think it's a bit of value out of the Drake. I've got no silence in my deck, so this Drake will be better than a... What you call it? Alright. I'm in a bit of a rough spot here. I can't mind control tech him. I can cleave him. Just not sure how I want to do this. Probably just do the cleave first. Yeah. Cleave first. Kind of hoping I would cleave onto the other guy a little bit, but I'm okay still with well this. Played. For the crusade. I don't really have to with that cleave. I really wanted it to kill a blood imp or something. I'm not in a really good spot this game. Uh, if he plays two minions, I might be able to mind control tech him. So he doesn't do any trading, which he might not want to trade with me. Looks like he's going to go for the trade. Reasonable play. We got a frost elemental if he plays what that big dumb doom guard or something like that. Or just frost elemental is frost elemental if the case may be. Let's go into the face. Interesting. Uh, I think the frost elemental is the play here. No real point in trading with him. Hope I can mind control his frost elemental somehow. Play minion. Oh, the sea giant. Dirty. I would agree with this choice on his part. Take out my guy. His guy lives. Good play. Um, let's see, what do I have? Unfortunately, I can't cleave and play my other two cards. I think I just trade this guy and then cleave. And after that, I just do this and armor up. I'm not in a really good spot this game. He's giving me a few too many well plates. He's a bit annoying with them. I mean, it's polite, but I feel he's using them too often. I don't feel like I'm making good plays. I feel like I'm about to die to a sea giant. Let's <laughs> be frank. Super sea giant. A super duper sea giant. <laughs> That's a really good sea giant. I still can't mind control stack him. <laughs> so great off. Uh, the good news is. Now, this actually does war in a well played. Thank you very much. Fuck your guy. Fuck him to hell. Um, 
despite that, I'm still in a pretty bad spot. Oh no, because I can't really knock this guy off. I'm pretty boned though. I clear his board, but he's got cards in hand and I don't. I do have, the good news is I've got a Warsong Commander. If that can stay on the board, I could do alright. And if for some reason he managed to play four minions and I mind control one of them, that's fantastic. But that's not gonna happen. Pretty boned. He doesn't have lethal. Is good news. Oh no, he doesn't. Or, no, he doesn't. Or does he? Um, uh, so he's got 8 damage. So I can't. He, he has lethal unless I armor up. So I, that means I have to armor up. And obviously, this guy's a better play than the other guy. And do damage. <laughs> do damage. So. Never got to use the mind control attack. I don't know if he was actively playing around that. I don't think he was. Who, who plays around mind control attack? I certainly don't. Uh, corruption? What's he got? Oh, uh, he's got me. Or no, that's one's nine damage. He doesn't have me. Not yet. Oh, okay. He's got a really big guy. Now I think there's nothing I can draw that will save me. I don't think I think I'm pretty much just dead. Well, this is this and a cleave, I guess, is <laughs> or a Warsong Commander. Nope, no dice. Can we well play. Show him I had a mind control attack all game long. I'll let him go. Uh, alas, I'm a bit disappointed in this game. I'm not sure where it all ran away from me, really. I kind of forget. I just I was never really in control. I don't know. It's like I don't feel that I had bad cards. He just had better cards, I guess. Oh well. Try again. Now I'm on death row. Six wins is a disappointing finish for me. I I average more than that. So I really don't want to lose here. I'll be a bit upset. I think this is that more than a six win deck. I think this is an eight win deck. Come on. Don't die on me now. Geras versus Jaina. You asked for it. Victory or death. I'll keep the weapon smith just because I already have a good one drop and two drop in hand. I don't mind Weapon Smith as a 4 drop, she's pretty reasonable. I could coin a Blood Fen Raptor here. Doesn't seem like a good play though. Maybe though, because it does. It's iffy, because if I do that, I can play another one. I'm gonna do it. Be really aggressive with the coin. It's strange to coin out a 2 drop when you do have a 1 drop in hand, but I just went for it. My cards are also in inexpensive, so there's not really going to be a point where I really, really want to use coin. Don't kill my guy. Yes! That's awesome. Huge for me that my guy didn't die there. Oh, now, see, this is going to be good because now I play a knife juggler. It means next turn I can play two minions for the knife juggler. Start juggling those knives. And he could finish off my little guy. I think he's got another arcane missile. Uh, I'm just gonna. I thought he was mousing over the other guy. Anyway, uh, definitely playing the two minions here. Really aggressive. <laughs> he's on a pretty fast clock here. He may not survive to flame strike me unless he can start getting some board control before then. He might just die before he ever gets into flame strike range. So I've got some more good plays coming up. The weaponsmith is a nice play. <laughs> it's time for a little Well, that guy I can just kill. Okay, not bad for him, not bad. 
Now this is a bit of a choice here because if I play the Weaponsmith, my Knife Juggler might hit his Berserker and then I trade, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to trade with his Berserker right away. I want to see if Knife Juggler hits it. And then since it did, I'm going to take the damage, which is a lot of damage. But it leaves me with my minion on the board. So I essentially uh, did one more damage to him, took five damage myself, and saved a minion. I think it was a good line to play. He's pretty low, 14 life. Put this apple on your head. He's got his own knife juggler. I don't have any one drops from the juggle right away. But he can hear, ah, uh, fuck. He got lucky there. I give him a well played. Well played. Um, so here, I obviously knock out his knife juggler. Trade with his little guy. Not trade. Weapon it out. I get the cleave out with the spell power minion. I really like to draw Warsong Commander and just kill him on my next turn. Like I said, I want to kill him before Flame Strike Range, so this is going to be my last, last chance. Secret, fucking secrets. Uh, okay, well, I don't get. Okay, oh, hate secrets so much. Not vaporize, ice barrier, okay. I can deal with this. The cruel taskmaster. And just there's no real point in trading with this guy, but at the same time I don't wanna I wanna taskmaster my own guy. Back to work. Let's buff it up. Get the damage in. Watch this. And it's either the Crusader or the Golem. It's a tough call. I think I like the Golem more. Because I'm in Flame Strike range. Flame Strike wipes my board, but I get to keep the 2 1. Looks like he doesn't have the Flame Strike. So he's probably going to want to run into my 5-2, and don't know what else he could do. Depends on what he has in hand, obviously. I'm really looking to draw one of my Warsong Commanders. Mm. Got about a 1 in 10 chance of getting one of them. Which isn't that good. Um, hmm... That was a pretty obvious line of play, yeah, I agree with that. But what are your cards? You know your cards, the things you play from your hand, you do stuff. Sometimes they kill my minions, sometimes the minions for you. That's a good minion. Interesting. Interesting. So what do I got? I got 8 damage. I could have had one more damage if I played the other card. Which doesn't really do much. Um, oh, actually, one more damage would be nice because then I could trade with this water element really nicely. But I'm gonna cleave. I'm probably not gonna trade with this water elemental. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I won't. If I don't, he can just eat my two-two, which kind of sucks. But I'm going for the damage here. If I had played the Scarlet Crusader, I definitely would have traded. Would have traded because it would have lived. I'm gonna play another horror skull in here. Now, even if he flame strikes me, um, I still kill him because I'll have two two ones. He can kill one of them with his water elemental, but he dies to the other one. Unless he also has a Elven Archer, because <laughs> then he could Elven Archer my guy for one mana. I wonder. I'll be disappointed if I lose this one. I've got him so low. And I also made a slight mistake in not playing the Crusader. 
I'm not sure if it was a mistake, mistake. Yeah. So he's gonna eat my 2 1. What else has he got though? Has he got a taunt guy? He really needs a taunt guy. Like badly. Like, taunt or die. I wonder. He's thinking hard about something. Oh, he just concedes. Well Strange. Got him! Alright, like I said, I feel this was an 8 deck win. 8 deck Or 8 win deck, excuse me. So I really want one more. Bad. Give me that 8th win. Obviously I'm not like, super disappointed with 7, but... I kinda want 8. I'm greedy. I always, always, always want more wins. When I get to 8, I'm still gonna be wanting 9. Geras versus Jaina. You asked for it. I'm not sure what the cutoff is for a good run deck. I think most people agree that if you can get seven all the time, you're pretty fucking good. Um, don't really want the Frost Elemental. Keep the other two though. Crusader, not bad, not bad. Kweeb is such an awkward card. I mean, when it's good, it's good, but there's so many times when they only have one minion and you want to kill their one minion. You're like, oh, why can't I just cleave one minion? But you can't. You just can't cleave one minion. It's not the way game works. He's not trading with me, interesting. He's being very aggressive. Unfortunately for him, I've got a cleave in my hand, and I'm definitely going to play it right here. Nope, cleave was pretty good there. I mean, not super great, because I still have a mana left over. I hate having mana left over. A secret. Now I get to play the what secret, secret does he have game, which is one of my least favorite games. Um... I'm gonna trade with this guy. And. A few choices here. Bomber and armor might be my choice. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> so his secret was not the copy minion secret. It was probably vaporize or. The armors, one of the armors. Hmm, a bit awkward that I can't kill his elemental really. I just have to run into him. Oh, yeah, you I found a secret! It's vaporize. Ah! Hmm. I guess the jungle panther is the play here because I can buff it up with my taskmaster to kill his water element on my next turn. Be suicide will do it right now, obviously, because or actually would it? Would it de-stealth him? No, it wouldn't have. De actually, I probably should have just played. Well, I don't know. If I did that, he would have just traded my guy. He's got a taunt right now. It's a bummer. This is sketchy. I can freeze one of his guys. I can trade with his taunter. Um, I really don't know what I should do. What now? Do I just trade and then play the Dark Iron Dwarf? Yes. Yeah, Knock out your guy. This is a bit awkward because of the elemental. The elemental can attack my dark iron dwarf, then he can fireball it, for instance. Your magic shall Silence. Nasty. Yep. Saw this one coming. Gain some nice little advantage there. It's not. It could be worse. I just want to finish off this guy. 
Um, well, I'm definitely playing the Lepronome. It's a question if I want a Frost Elemental or play both of these cards. I think I would just want to... You know what I say about Flame Strike? I say, la 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 la, Flame Strike is not a card. I'm going to close my eyes here and just see if I can hear the Flame Strike sound effect. I don't hear it yet. Silence. Silence is golden. Looks like I get away with it again. You get away with it so often. That's the thing. Like, I always play so greedy against board sweepers. You get burned every now and then, but most of the time you don't get burned. He's being pretty aggressive here. Um, let's see. Maybe I should just... Oh, fucking minion placement bug. Now I'm not going to be able to play the card I want. Uh, let's see. Favorable trades. Well, this is obviously favorable Sucks. trades. Deal, swine. This is a pretty Join favorable trade. Or die. And I think I would rather play the ice guy here, assuming I... Nope, can't play the ice guy. Fucking minion bug. Um, I guess I just have to trade with this guy now. I really want to freeze this guy, obviously, because it's 5-5 five, five to trade with him next turn. Or and stuff. But oh well. The game is occasionally bullshit to you. Actually, it's frequently bullshit to you. I'm in a pretty bad spot here. Mind if I roll need? Minion bug again? It's gonna be bug for the rest of the game. I cannot, I cannot do that. Maybe alt tabbing will miraculously fix. We'll do what I'm definitely doing. I'm definitely doing this. I'm definitely doing this. But now it's just a question of Oh, is this the one I wanted? This is the one I wanted. Yes! My hand's still bugged out. I'm gonna be so mad, though. Holy shit! <laughs> the kind of good news is my weapon smith will help me kill the elemental. Um, the bad news is the mage has four cards in hand. I only got one. Also, my guy's dead. Also, my other guy is dead. Wasn't there supposed to be good news? I thought there was good news and bad news. Turns out. Light protects me. Try this. Doing it. I'm running to the elemental. Oh, I actually didn't get frozen because of armor. I thought I was gonna get frozen, but armor is a thing apparently. I'm so boned. I mean, he's got cards, and I don't. I don't see me coming back. When this deck runs out of gas, it runs out of gas in a big way. With an empty board, top deck mode, you've got essentially no late game, you're just gonna die. And he froze me. Oh no, he didn't. Or, yeah, that one just didn't freeze you even if it doesn't. Oh my god, I'm so dead. It's so depressing. I'm crying. My eighth win. It's all I wanted. Crying. Over Crying. Now he's gonna freeze me. I won't be able to trade with this guy. Over I got another abuse of sergeant. It's deja vu all over again. Someone help me. I can dive me. Let me out! Let me out! I'm gonna draw another abusive sergeant! Bang! Bang! Boom! Another water elemental. Really. Really. Truly. Ow! 
power. Well played. Obviously, I could have played the Harvest Golem, but I'm just dead. My run didn't go as far as I would have liked it to. He <laughs> played strikes me. Um, still, whatever. Mages. I think mages are one of the strongest classes in the decks I make. Dun, dun, dun. Could be worse. Seven wins. I'm not unhappy with it. I always want more, though. If I get 150 gold out of it, I'm not terribly upset. If I get less than 150, I'm a bit upset. I don't really need gold anyways, but whatever. 180 gold, I'll take it. Open my pack. Legendary? No. Legendary? No. Legendary? No. Legendary? No. Well, this one has to be legendary. Nope. Alright, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you think my sound is too low, I actually turned the music volume off and just had the game volume. Because I don't really like the Arrowstone music. Um, that's it. Give it a seal overnight. Thanks for watching.